Welcome to my full game and trophy guide for what has been my favourite indie platformer puzzle game of the year so far, A Tale of Paper. It's a wonderful little game, lovely graphics and gameplay, I just loved it. And the bonus is it's a fairly quick and easy platinum for you. It will take you about an hour and it will be a joy to play. So just showing you the game consists of eight chapters. Each chapter will just have one collectible. Most of the trophies will be story related and there'll just be a few little miscellaneous trophies that I'll talk you through how to get when we get there. So sit back and enjoy the game. Like the game is telling you there, press R1 to open doors. And when you've opened this first door, you'll get your first trophy, simply for starting the game. Now jump up on this table, and this will now tell you your L1 button is your run button. So do a running jump into the next room, then go straight through the door at the back. So here we'll grab our first mis miscellaneous trophy for riding the rumba. <laughs> so jump on this little box here and when the rumba's next to you just hop on, hang tight for 10 seconds until your trophy pops. When you've got your trophy jump off it'll probably kill you then but that's fine. Oh dear. So this time, take this left through this little tunnel through the boxes, climb the boxes to get into the fish tank and hold down R1 when you're near books to learn little abilities. So now you can unscrew any vent. Always have to unscrew the two screws to be able to get out. Now go back round that little tunnel through the boxes and go into the next room. Climb the table to learn your first morphing ability. Go near the book, hold square, and this will teach you how to be a frog. That will get you the Origami Beginner Trophy. Next miscellaneous trophy, just jump 10 times as the frog, 10 times in a row, and then when you get the Crazy Legs Trophy, then you can continue. So press square to morph into your frog to do any higher or longer jumps. Now in this room we'll grab another miscellaneous trophy, open this vent at the back to find our little hidden buddy. That will get you the trophy, now you see me. Also in this room we're going to grab our first collectible, so morph into your frog and get up on the beams near the ceiling, you can see the origami bird there. Okay, that's your first collectible. Now just pick up the key off the box to exit through the door.
So I'll press R1 to interact with this button here and then straight away jump up on that pile of boxes to catch a ride on the little lift. Now there's just some basic platforming to do, don't fall off the beams. <laughs> Here, press R1 to use this button and then quickly make your way up to the top so you can get on top of those boxes. Here when you've jumped on this box you just need to get a little momentum going, get it swinging across a little bit just so you can make this jump to the other side. When you've dropped through this vent, make sure to run straight away because one of the rumbers will be after you. <laughs> so hold your L1, keep on running till you can get up on this table. And here we'll learn our next morph ability. So hold down the triangle button and then you will learn how to become a ball of paper. So every time you see a red pipe, transform into your little ball of paper to go through them. So go back up these boxes and here we'll do the first um, of two basketball hoops that we'll find in the game. Just jump through the hoop as the paper. When you see the confetti and hear the klaxon then that means it's registered. So there's just that one in this level, the attic level and the other basketball hoop will be in the level called rooftops near the end.
Okay, this time go through the pipe on the right hand side that we saw earlier. And exit in the attic will get us a story trophy moving out. So on these ledges is a collectible on the left hand side. Make sure to jump to the left and pick up that just there. Okay, we're now entering the sewers. Another collectible really close, just go straight over this plank at the top. That will be your third collectible. Now we're going to grab another miscellaneous trophy, which for dying in the civil water seven times. So just keep running and dropping into this water here until you get your trophy. A nice simple little pipe puzzle here. So number these valves from left to right, one to six. So first turn the fourth pipe. Then turn the sixth pipe. Then turn the first pipe. That will drain the water, so now we can go and pick up that key. And use that key on the padlock on the left to keep on progressing. So here open the hatch to the lift to drop down, pull the lever in the lift so we can go up a level and carry on.
particularly on these train tracks just keep going straight up a train will be coming and but just quickly go into this little door on the right hand side to miss it okay, you have to swing this plug a little bit get some momentum to be able to make the jump Here, just keep climbing to the top. Just a little button to make this little lift work. And here will be a little colour puzzle for us. So first do the blue valve, then the yellow valve, then the red valve, and then the green valve. So I'll go down to, round to the left. I'm going to grab a kind of sneaky collectible now. So just off this back ledge, you see it up there? Go up there and grab it. That'd be a fourth of eight collectibles. So now you can just drop straight off these ledges to get right back down to the bottom. Pull the little lever to get the electric on. Now we're going to grab another miscellaneous trophy here, which is for jumping on a dead fish. This is the only dead fish I could find in the game. A nice fried one. <laughs> That'll get you the King Fisherman trophy, your 8th of 18 trophies. So now it's spider chase time. <laughs> First, another miscellaneous trophy. You've got to die 10 or more times from the spider. So just from where it starts, you can just run to near that um, bottom edge that will trigger the spider to come at you. And then just go and let him get you until you get the I believe in you trophy. 
when that trophy pops then we got to play this level for reals and you got to do your bestest it might be the trickiest trophy to get called nest's finest where we have to then complete this whole spider chase without dying might take you a couple of goes but you'll be all right and it's still fun Okay, so when you've got that Dying by the Spider trophy, then press pause and then press restart level. That'll erase all those deaths and let you have a start from a clean slate. So now try and get through the whole level without dying. If you do die, do the same again by pressing pause and pressing restart level. And good luck. <laughs> There'll be about three sections for this chase. There's nothing too sneaky, just a few little jumps and a few little corners. When you go off a ledge though, you can have a little breather if you like. It won't start again until you're a little ahead, so. So I should have died then. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> These stepping stones though, make sure you're on the very edge of those stones over the water. Sometimes I've missed some of those jumps by jumping too soon. So time for the next section. made it and just at the end there under the ledge is your fifth collectible make sure to grab that before you go through the pipe so see you later spidey you ain't eating me this time that'll get you two more trophies one for completing that level without dying and the other for just progressing through the chapter so now for the next chapter rooftops There will be a couple more miscellaneous trophies in this level. First just climb up onto this roof where we will learn our next morph ability. So hold down the circle button to learn how to become a paper plane. This time to be a plane, you have to hold down the circle button whenever you want to use it. When you let go of the circle, you'll go back to your regular little guy. Ignore that red pipe there. It'll just take you straight to your death. It's a sneak. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, there's going to be our sixth collectible up there. So first climb up onto this little, little roof. And then as the frog, do a big jump, then glide as your paper plane to be able to reach that little top of that vent. And make sure to grab that, your sixth of eight. two little miscellaneous trophies right here. First push this blue ball off the balcony on the left. When that's rolled down there that will get you the good deed trophy. Now as your little ball of paper jump through this basketball hoop. That will be the second one when you've so when you've gone through that getting the confetti you'll get the professional dunker trophy. And remember the only other basketball hoop the first one was in the attic level earlier. So do a little jump then turn into a plane to get through that broken vent. Here, do a big jump off the edge, glide as your little plane as far as you can. And when it's about to land, morph into your frog and quickly jump on the rum bar. Now do little jumps, nudging to the right a bit so the rum bar comes with you and eventually you'll be able to get over the wall. So this little section you have to be kind of quick to get over these two platforms, moving platforms. So first press this button with R1. And quickly make your way back to the yellow platform. Get up on that platform and when you can make the jump over to the left to press the next button. So press this one with R1 and again very quickly make your way over to the right so that you can make the blue platform in time. So now just keep on progressing to the right. Go through this little kind of door in the stone and then you'll get a cutscene and some pretend credits. <laughs> and shortly after you will get the trophy saying it's not over yet.
So here we are at the penultimate level, the woods level, on our way to the observatory. So just make your way all the way to the right. We just need to scare a little bird who's got our key. So now that we've scared the bird and it's flown off, now make your way all the way back to the left, all the way back to where you started. Okay, pick up the key from the rocks there. Just use that on the padlock on the left. go up to the the book to learn a new ability hold down the square button and this will teach you how to be a little bird so this ability will just give you a bit of an extra high extra long jump So we'll grab a collectible from these trees now. So jump on this tree trunk, then jump along the bird boxes in the trees. And then you'll see our seventh collectible right there. Seven of eight. Jump across these other bird boxes at the back to be able to get over the river this time. And again, jump over these last few bird boxes to be able to get over the fence to end the level.
so interact with this rocket blueprint to learn our final ability to be a paper rocket it's just like a little dash so when you press circle it'll just dash you forward so do a jump then a bird jump and then a rocket dash to get up on these higher platforms and then make your way back out through the door you came Okay, so now make your way up the swirly path. At some point while going around this swirly path, the educational visit trophy will unlock. Now go through this door on the right with a jump, bird jump and dash. so after that other basic platforming section when you've got to the other side pull this switch with R1 now make your way back over the new platforms this one get on the left hand edge of the platform and just press circle just to rocket dash under there. This time do a jump and a bird jump and a rocket dash and this one just do a normal jump and a rocket dash to get through. Keep on making your way up the swirly path. And now we're going to grab our final collectible. You see this planet, the only one with rings, the Saturn planet? Jump on the edge of that and go grab the last sneaky collectible from round the back of it. Just as a note, your collectibles trophy won't pop there. It won't pop until when we've completed the game, you have to go to the extras tab from the title screen and it'll unlock there for some reason so don't worry <laughs> so time for the last puzzle of the game a nice simple just match the shapes one jump on the button to just flip them the right ways up And then press that central button to see if it's correct. And yes, it is. You'll have to do three of those. Completing that one has powered up our rocket ship. And the only thing left to do now is complete the game.
So keep on going up to the top of this swirly path. Jump in your rocket ship and go meet your destiny. He found you. I don't know how in all of space, but he found you. <laughs> that will get you the back together trophy for completing the game. So you should have 16 of the 18 trophies by now. Fear not if you've missed any of them though, you can mop anything up via chapter select from the title screen. Uh, check out my video description if you want to find out which particular level any of the miscellaneous trophies you might have missed will be in. Okay, so the last thing you should need to do now is just get the collectibles trophy. I'll just show you first, if you click chapters, if you have found the collectible for that chapter, the little origami symbol will be there. If you haven't got it, it will be a question mark, so you'll know which one you need to play if you've missed one. But now to actually unlock the collectibles trophy what I've had to do both times is click that extras tab right there and here is where it should unlock so that should get you the dedicated historian trophy your 17th and of course the platinum I hope you've had such a lovely time with this game as I did guys it's been great I'll see you next time cheers <laughs>